Alright, so as I was saying, so this is the alliance that um, I basically my other account is already in the alliance. This is where they are at right now on the map. Um, 11.57 I sent my other account to the alliance. So this is where they are at. This is these are really good players, trust me. Um, this is the guy here. I was in this ally before, but we left the map because no, I left the map in to search for people to come back to this map to basically con for us to conquer it. Alright, let me explain. Um, so these there's an alliance that is on this map, but they're not really active. They aren't really active on the map. Trust me, they aren't. There are a few unflagged bases that are on this map. Trust me, it is a very easier. It is far much easier than um, what Chaos Alliance. Far much easier. And I think we stand a better chance at because look at this guy. This is German. He has he and I think George has a lot of YF12. This is George. We don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. The only thing that we're only required to do is like take a few bases and basically help out with attack. That's all. We're not asking they're not asking for like continuous players that we're gonna play right through. Everybody know that we have other things. We have a life. Everybody has a life. We have a life to live um, So obviously because they don't really come on they come online often, but you know Everybody has things to do But I understand why you say um, you, you don't want because these are the guys that were going to come to our map that are that we're on right now and 1400 they were coming to our map but seeing that we don't have the chances for us to get back that map has been reduced by far and right now on this map they have more bases than what we have on map 1400 so it is better for us to come here um i don't consider it as starting over though because you're basically changing changing your changing to a new map but then i don't think you're starting over um so that's basically that um so these guys are willing they're not they as i said it's not a lot of them it's not a lot of them um these two these guys are um he's offline for a very long time as i said these this is the alliance that i want i think you guys should join um you all right what you can do is join the alliance now but then all right um, okay, how am i supposed to say this because you ask ever seeing that you got you just you just bought gold it is kind of hard now because you are let me explain the, the thing about the um this is how you find the um the help thing where the hell is it um uh, shoot i forgot uh, is it charge school alliance what is it yo i literally forgot um, oh, this is it. This is where you f you you learn about the game. This is where I was telling you to go recovery. So this is it. Um, so like how you just took a you just I think it's a helicopter base you have with level ten flick. The only thing that you will not be able to recover is the. Is the thing what's that thing again you will not be able to recover the crane level 3 crane which I know it sucks because I spent about 600 gold on that because first it's you spend like 
I think it's the first purchase is what 72 gold then you purchase for 149 then 300 and something that's about roughly over 600 gold on the crane so that's that costs you a lot so I don't know um, so these are the recoveries for level 4 5 gold to recover them so you get them back if your base is killed whenever your base is die or you destroy them you get back what all the recovery the power plants are recoverable by one gold per piece command central military central one gold per piece command base base command rather one gold per piece those are the things that you can actually recover also like i i suggest though that if you are not gonna buy gold like every week or something i suggest that you stay to a minimum of at least level four level four to level level six at least because it's cheaper to um buy those flakes than go further up by level seven to twelve that's if you're buying gold every week then i mean i can't tell you how to flag you to to um to upgrade your your flakes but the best way to go about it is you have to be you have to be smart you have to know how often you're gonna buy gold because if you're gonna buy gold not that often you might choose to spend less gold on so you would have want you probably would want to buy a lower level flake than a level 7 8 9 or 10 or 11 12 because those those flakes cost so much the game this game was just built on purchasing gold it's not really a fair game anyway but we still play the game because we love this thing that we call combat siege or whatever it's we still play it although we I, I i hate this game but i still play it i still love the game I hate it because it's it's a pay to win game if you don't buy gold unfortunately you cannot win that's how the game is designed it's not built on fair ground but you can all you can still be smart about playing that's why I suggest that we come to this map this guy is online um, I suggest that we come to this map because I have the I am communicating with one of the players here via email so I'm telling him that we can if we can actually come to this map when we come to this map then we can actually take some basis and be and have a better chance but I don't know shooter shooter was saying that he he wants to create another a new alliance sounds like he wants to go to a, a fresh map not not a map like this a fresh map one of the fresh maps I, I i don't i don't know but it depends on you still um the only thing i can suggest is that you you just choose a smart decision because I'm gonna be honest I don't want to lose good players I hate losing good players while some leaders will let go of good players I, I I hate losing good players like you know you're you're new to the game I would I wouldn't um I would want to lose a player like you if you're new to the game but the fact the fact is that we have to be smart about playing if you want to win well, this game is not really about winning, but it's more about conquering them up. So that's it for me still. I, I, I might come back to this alliance though with both my accounts. 
but i would love if you guys just if you guys came as well trust me you guys would, would not regret it um we would have because really and truly what they would do if if you guys agree that you're gonna come here if all of you guys agree that you're gonna come here i would just tell them that you're coming so as you get on the map you have bases to take on spot on, on spot then and there simple and easy you have you would already have bases to get so they would kill the bases and as soon as you get on the map you would have bases and you don't have to worry about that because that's just something simple i could tell them to do because these guys look up to me trust me i was the leader of this alliance um we were a few in number that's why the the thing about it is that when you see that an alliance is is not is few in number like our alliance only has what 22 see 22 players we don't have a lot of players we don't have a lot of players and most of them most of them out of the 22 are offline they, they just come stop by and that's it um so that's that's another problem we don't have a lot of players so if i was suggesting that we beno sprayer because sprayer nitwit and shooter are the same person i believe um you you all um, this is you um Benno, myself, Sprayer, Shooter, Hall, Dagome, uh, Nitwit, this guy, I think this guy wanted to come to Stunstar and this guy, um, I don't remember some of the names, I think Felix6 as well, Kenneth, um, these three here, uh, uh, a few players so if they came now we would be good on that map we would have a better chance and we don't have to worry about getting killed by f18 continuously you can imagine on this map that we're on right now we are being attacked by f18 and f18 is like literally killing a level 4 play base that has like 20 20 flake that's all they're using on this map it is not fear but you can't stop certain players because george george has gerben rather gerben has about 13 yf12 he can make up to 20 yf12 this guy can make up to 20 yf12 so yeah so that's it still that's what i want to just share um this also i was telling you that you should build more of this on your home base you work on I, as a matter of fact as you buy gold the most important thing that you should do is work on your home base i see you have level um where the hell are you um this guy would i would love if he could join as well um this guy no where the hell are you Oh, sorry, this is you. Like how you now you have the you have level eight flake. You can keep it at level eight. You don't need to move because really and truly players don't really attack home base as often. They do but not as often, so you don't need to worry about um, upgrading your flake. But what you need to ensure that you have is the the jam you need you need level two or three jammer level two or three um site radius just like my base um mine are all level two site radius and jammer and i have make sure you have a stealth detector and also you want maximum military central at your home base because any map you go to you will always have um maximum military central as well as this you want three of these yes 
three of these at your home base it's gonna cost you some gold I don't remember how much I think the first purchase is what 29 um, the next purchase purchase is 50 something and the other one is about I don't remember how, the, how, how this purchase goes but something like that um, you must always have maximum power plant at your home home base highly recommended that you maximize all these things right here all of these no well the command base you don't really have to maximize that at your home base but if you want to you can but I suggest that your military central your power plant your group expansion your military office and your resource accelerator are all maxed out on your home base um, when you buy immediate resources you get 30 30 million if you have bought gold in I think it's three days but if you just bought gold you would get 90 million resources all right so this guy's asking um, are we going to change map yes are you um, he's asking about so we move we, I think the best way forward is to move I don't the thing about it is that I have to also think about the gold players and the non gold players as a kind of leader I think I I, I am because gold players really put gold in this map so I have to consider them if they want to stay or if they want to stand if they want to stay and fight or, but right now I do not suggest they waste gold any more gold on this map that's a done deal it's a waste because if we continue taking bases um, on this map let's say we continue taking bases on this map the enemy will take them back because they have the upper portion of this map and we have less bases so the chances are because look at this notice last Oh, did I just call that name? That's another guy. Um, one of these bases belong to. Wow. They took the two bases, as a matter of fact. These two bases belonged to Nitwit. And can you imagine they were level 8? They're gone. The enemy took them. It does make sense we stay here and fight. That's a done deal. So 1157, if you guys want to move to 1157 with me and the other guys that are there already, we can go there and we take bases and we just get things in and we just have control of that map. 